What's up, sneaky people? It's your boy FB Kicks and Gear, and I am back with one of my favorite shoes of the past couple of years, the Jordan 3 Ama Manier, and I will be doing a real verse fake legit checking guide. This shoe has widely been recognized as the shoe of the year for the year 2022, and I think for obvious reasons. It is a super dope shoe. It wears beautifully. It has a kind of like a luxurious kind of feel to it, but still representing the classic Jordan 3. I love it. And just like with any shoe of the year contender, there are obviously reps out and because of the success that i had on the jordan 4 on my manier legit checking guys i figured i'd follow up with the jordan 3. so what we're going to do is what we usually do we'll do a full breakdown on the legit checking guide we'll talk about the different features of the shoe we'll talk about colors shapes all that good stuff and we'll really hone in on the things that you can do to identify a real shoe and a fake shoe so with all that said just like every other video you will be able to go to the instagram account on the screen and you'll see the very detailed pictures of this shoe and all the details that i point out in the video so you can keep yourself informed so with all that said let's get into this legit checking guide starting with the boxes now unlike most reps the boxes on these are actually the same size they do have the correct sleeve, which is cool. But when you get into a direct comparison, you have the authentic one on the top, the rep on the bottom. You can see the color difference. The whites are a different color. The grays are a different color. Even the metal ring here that shows you a little peephole into there. And this one should be punched out. But even this ring is a different color compared to the authentic pair. So pay attention to stuff like that. And just like always, the size tag labels really tell the story. You can see the differences in the color of the gold here. And you can see a clear difference in the color of the fonts. Look at the price tag, suggested retail. It's definitely bolder on the authentic pair and it's super light, low weight on the font, on the rep. And then when you go into the rest of the text, it's the exact opposite. A little bit thinner, lighter weight on the font of the authentic, heavier, bolder on the rep. So pay attention to that. I always say compare. You could pretty much use any authentic shoe to compare on the tags, but it's always good to have a real versus fake. The sleeves are identical. They got the right pattern. This is the right pattern on the sleeve. So uh, nothing really to call out there. However, if you look at the text on the sleeve here, it gives out the dimension and the code name for the shoe. You can see that it's definitely thinner than when you compare to the authentic pair. It's a lot bolder and more defined. So with all that said, let's get these boxes out of the way and we'll talk about the shoes. Now, just like the Jordan 4 Ama Manier that I did, the one that had the uppers being identical to the authentic pair, the only batch that I've seen. Um, this, for whatever reason, this supplier loves to wrap them up. So let's take them out of the wrapping and let's do a side by side. So one thing to keep in mind right off the bat, my pair is worn. I love these shoes and I wear these shoes, but that should not really impact the comparison that I'm trying to do. So let's first Let's do a comparison on colors because colors always tell a story. So we'll do this and we'll do this. I've got to say, I'm actually super impressed uh, specifically for the color of the purple. Ret factories always tend to struggle with paint colors and the purples look fantastic. They look very, very, very close. I will say there's just a slight difference in color and the slight difference comes from the purple in the authentic pair being a little bit less vibrant. It's a lot duller while the rep pair is colored a bit more vibrantly, a bit darker. You can see that side by side. And when you compare the sale off-white midsole paint, you can see that the rep pair is definitely darker in that regard. 
than the authentic pair. And for people that like to say, oh, when you wear your shoes, they'll look the same, yada, yada, yada. This is a worn authentic pair and the paint is still lighter than the brand new rip. So that is a flaw. That is not something that you can overcome. That is something that you have to accept with the rep and in my opinion it's a pretty good legit checking indicator no is it's not a huge thing it's probably not something you notice on feet but those are different colors so from there we can take a look at the sole and yes again my pair is worn but you can see that there are definitely a difference in the colors of the purple uh, worn unworn doesn't matter um, they're definitely a difference in the color and the grays are different as well very slight but th that is there and you can really tell on the toe box here there's a warmer kind of hue to the gray on the authentic pair and when we go from the sole to the materials of the shoe one thing that i'll say right off the bat these are the same quality materials the leather is super soft it's supple the rep shoe just has a little bit less padding up at the top which makes it crinkle a lot easier but the leather is super soft and tumbled just like the authentic pair when you take a look at the suede and this is suede not nubuck but when you look at the suede it is a very similar cut of suede but it's shorter haired you can see the texture on the authentic pair versus the rep they still feel very 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 close and you can see that on the toe box as well definitely a longer haired coarser suede on the authentic pair now one thing that i like to pay attention to when it when it comes to jordan threes and it's something that reps struggle with and something that you can really hone in on notice where and how the suede wraps around the front of the shoe and then it stops but on the rep this area right here is just so much larger i have no idea why rep factory struggles so much with this but they do and a lot of jordan threes have issues with where this leather strap ends whether it's suede or it's new buck i've seen it on all rep threes uh, some do it better you sometimes you just have to qc uh, a lot harder but this right here is large and even if you look at the other shoe notice how it's controlled and it's about, I would say it's probably about an inch, inch and a half. But when you look here, it's just so much blockier and thicker. The rep is on the bottom, by the way. So pay attention to that. But from there, we'll go to the sale accents around the shoe. Take a look at my pair's eyelets and eye stays up here. They're close, but it looks like the rep is just duller. It's duller overall from the upper ankle lace holes to the eye stays here ironically when it comes to these it look pretty close these holes right here it looks pretty close but over here definitely color challenges there and let's swing around back now this is probably the closest i've ever seen a nike air on the back in terms of color the air is just a tad bit thicker but uh on the rep, you can see that the text on the back of the heel tab is bleeding through, while on the authentic pair, it's definitely a lot more opaque. The tab is definitely harder on the rep too, but you peel it back and you can see text. Text definitely looks bolder on the rep. Something to pay attention to. Take a look at the jump bend. While the rep is definitely not perfect, um, neither is my authentic pair. You can see that the Air Jordan has a butt crack, just like the rep does. Um, but it's just a little bit more clean on the authentic pair than it is on the rep. But look at the ball, almost looks like a spoon here as opposed to a guy with a basketball in a hand, but still very close. And when you transition to the inside of the shoe, the there's definitely a difference in color for the quilted inside. The quilting pattern is definitely a lot looser and larger. The boxes are larger on the inside on the rep and it's softer while on the authentic pair, the quilted pattern is definitely tighter together, smaller boxes, and it feels a little bit firmer on the inside. But you can also see a slight difference in color in the grays. 
the authentic pair is just a little bit darker while the rep is like straight up silver still very soft and when you transition to the laces you can see that the laces are thicker on the rep than on the authentic pair a slight different color as well when it comes to the authentic accessories mine are all detached because i've been wearing the shoe but let's take a look at the tags here slight difference in color as well you can see it's more of a lighter purple on the authentic or on the rep pair and it's more of a uh, violet or ish kind of color similar but not the same when you look at the amamanier tags the one not attached is the authentic one very similar maybe slight difference in the grade of cardboard that they use but very similar and last but not least we'll compare the extra laces and while very similar just like everything else color is just slightly off on the rep pair overall i would say these reps are definitely capable of fooling people if you're not careful the improved quality of the Ama Munier Jordan 3s are what really set them above other 3s, including the most recent White Cement reimagined pair that came out. Uh, these are definitely leagues better in terms of quality, but by default, that makes the reps that are trying to replicate the authentic pair super high quality as well. Uh, these definitely have better materials than standard Jordan 3s uh, that have released by Nike themselves, but uh, you gotta be careful. Overall, this package comes together really well, but there are very slight differences uh, in color and the quality and craftsmanship, especially in the stitching. But overall, if you're not if you're not careful, this would definitely fool you. So please pay attention to all the things that I pointed out. Definitely still very legit checkable in my opinion, but be out on the lookout for these. They will definitely get people who aren't paying attention. But but with all that said, guys, remember you can see all of the pictures that you'll need of this rep so that you can do your deep dive, do your research. You'll be able to see all the features that I pointed out on the Instagram account that's gonna pop up on the screen. Always do your research, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.